And joining us right now is one of the great capitals in history, Nicholas Backstrom, the all-time assist man in the organization's history. Nicky, great to see you again. How was the off season? What have you been up to? Uh, it's great to be back here. Uh, what have I been up to? Uh, working out, hanging out with friends and family. Took a little vacation there after we, we lost that uh, first round there. But uh, other than that, just preparing myself for, for a new year. At was... this point, at the end of the season, how long do you wait before you get back into hockey stuff? Uh, usually I take um, a couple of weeks off, two weeks off right after, and then, then start working out. But then uh, I'm just skating in August, so uh, that's what I do. And I've always done it, so nothing nothing changes there. Most important thing for you guys... I mean, last year it wasn't a bad season by any stretch of the imagination. You know, all over 100 points, um, won the division, et cetera. And a way you guys didn't want, obviously. What's the difference between when you guys had the greatest celebration in the history of celebrations, hoisting that cup, and last year, and how do you get back to that better one? Uh, I feel like maybe maybe last year, because we had a short summer, I mean, regular season was fine, but it's a completely different game in, in the playoffs, I feel like. So just... Um, mentally we weren't there last year i mean we we had some good games against carolina but uh, they they just outworked us i think and and uh, but at the same time i mean i think game seven there we're up three one we you gotta shut them down there and it's close the game but instead we let them in the game again so uh, the margins are small in in sports and we all know that so uh, that's something we we need to address and, and get better at You've been such a terrific player for a long time, and I think the league and fans at large have finally woken up to that uh, as to how good you've been, how consistent you've been, and Caps fans have known for, for some time. Do you try to add anything to your game at this point, or is it just, you know, let's just keep the polish on, let's just make sure the maintenance here at this stage? Because you've been in the league now, what, 12 years at this point? Maybe this is your 13th year? Are you trying to add something at this stage, or is it just this Nick Baxter is pretty darn good? Let me make sure that he's ready to be on the ice. You know what? I, th I think – when you don't want to get better, that's when you about to end the career. I feel like as players, you need to try to get better in all the areas. I mean, you want to get better every day. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's practice or, or game. You just want to do the best out there. I what think. are your areas? What are, you, what are you thinking about getting better at? Well, I think it would be everything, uh, defensively, offensively. I mean, uh face-offs i mean everything all areas i mean you want to get better at but because um, the, the game has changed now too i mean it's a lot faster and, and systematically that's a couple of changes so you just got to adjust and, and make sure you you're a part of this um, yeah i mean change in game Alex Ovechkin right now sitting at 658 goals, and the all-time record from Gretzky's 894, and there's starting to be these conversations that maybe he could chase down Wayne Gretzky. That's always seemed ludicrous to me that anyone would ever score 900 goals. But Ovi, it's, I mean, he's still scoring 50, and a lot of them are coming from the office on the power play, and I don't know why that would go away. Is there any chance he could catch Wayne Gretzky, do you think? I think so, yeah. How would, he, like, how would that even happen? Okay, let's do our math here. <coughs> here we go. All right. <laughs> Professor Backstrom. 50 next year or yeah. this year. Okay, so that gets him to oh, 700. 700, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And 50 the year after. Okay, now we're at 750. 750. Let's say he signed three-year deal. After his deal expires. Yeah. With the Ooh, caps, okay. Yeah. So could he, but he could play, do you think he could be great that long? For sure. He's, he's not going to stop scoring. Really? You just said it from the office. It's just gonna, it's just gonna keep pounding the puck from there. I mean, there's, <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but that's, that's who he is. I think, and uh, it's for sure doable. So it's if you, let's say he scored forty for two years, what does that give him? Uh, now he's knocking on the door of eight hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So so, so maybe if he gets close, he'll sign an. Even, there we go. Uh, even one more year after. There we go. All right. So you think it's possible. How about for you? You've been in the league. I remember I was at RFK Stadium uh, years ago, and some guy named Nicholas Backstrom was just drafted throughout the first pitch. Yeah, I remember that too. You, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and then you sat, like, the row behind me at the game, and I was, like, asking a million questions, and you, you were a child. Like, you were just a kid. 07, you debut. Now here you are as an elder statesman. 
How do you view the next few years? I mean, you're coming up on a big decision contractually. Do you think you'll be a capital for life? What are you looking for in your next deal? Uh, I mean, my goal is to be a capital for life. I mean, I, I love it here, and this is all I know. Uh, fans and all the people around, I mean, it's been like family to me. So uh, I would love to be a capital forever, but... Uh, it's out of my hands, unfortunately, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here moving forward. But uh, it's probably better if you guys ask the organization or, or the GM. We'll grab Brian on yeah. his way. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> definitely, lunch. we'll definitely do that. But you, so this year, nineteen twenty, and then you have a free agency at the end of the year, correct? Correct. So, I mean, how many years do you think you've got left of really good Nick Backstrom, greatest center in, in Washington history type hockey? Until I retire. So, but but I mean, do you do you feel like you could play for five more years at that level? I hope so. Okay. So, maybe, maybe. are you on the Yager plan? Like until you're fifty-seven? No, yeah. I, I'm not gonna play. <laughs> I'm not gonna t- play until I'm fifty-seven. <laughs> I don't think my butt is gonna hold out that long. But hockey uh, is interesting though, because it's it's a sport we. I feel like we in in this uh, country and in, in particularly in this market, we've got a good feel for like football and when guys age. And hockey's so strange. You have random dudes like. Ray Bork, like, skating around at 42 and nothing matters. Yeah. But then some guys, they lose their their speed or something at 29. I don't I don't know what the difference is. I don't know either. But uh, I feel like when you're, like, 34, 35, like, lately, the last couple of years, I mean, it's harder for guys to get contract. Maybe it's cheaper to get younger guys, too. So I think it's, um, yeah, it's just a... Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously the league is getting younger and younger. That's that's for sure. And and guys are retiring earlier. So, but I'm hoping to just keep going as long as I can. My last one for you. Nick Back- Backstrom joins us here. A makeshift Beltway Blitz. Um, you mentioned you guys are a family, and you you know you go through all these things together, the highs and the lows. Well, one of your family members, tough off season. Obviously, Evgeny kind of steps out of bounds here. Yeah. Veteran leader, like you on the team. There's a big A on your sweater for a reason. What do you say? How do you approach it? What do you do to make sure he's got everything he needs to be the great player that we know he can be? Well, I think um, I think the biggest thing for us is be there for him, support him, and not not ignore him. I think we this is his private stuff, obviously, but he he um, he'll take care of this on his own. But he he knows that he has has our full support, and we we're gonna battle through this together as, as you said as family that's that's what we do so um but i mean looking at him on ice he looks terrific he's gonna have a he's gonna have a great year i think nick backstrom one of the great athletes in the history of dc sports one of the great capitals ever thank you so much for the time thanks Thank guys you, thanks Appreciate guys it. absolutely and a professor when it came to the professor nick there. backstrom used the calculator and everything <laughs> he said ah not so much <laughs> hey he broke out the calculator but what do you think when this first came up, I thought it was preposterous as far as so did I. Alex Ovechkin catching Wayne Gretzky. But the first time people started talking about this was two years ago now. And if you look at the last two seasons, not only has Ovi not regressed, but he's actually starting to step forward again. He's averaged 50 a, a pop the last two years. So that 33-goal season, right, where he's – this is just a couple of years ago, 2016, 2017, where he's banged up, he played up, up all the games, but clearly wasn't himself. We went – now we've now we've gone from – phenomenal freak all-time pantheon goal scorer which he's which he was going to be no matter what to regular good regular yeah. really good right mid-30s goals is, is nothing to sneeze at and then he jumps back up with that 49 51 last year that's a 50 goal pace according to my rudimentary math i don't know if he gets 50 you could have 44 you could have 43 you could have 52 the point is he's evolved again it's not just the, the, the guy that, you know, think about the, how he used to score back in the day. He comes down that left side, stops on a dime, cuts back to the middle, and, and snipes a shot. When's the last time he did that? feels like a couple years, well, right? Yeah, and it totally, he he's evolved the way goals, that he's done it. Some bigger, heavier, more physical goals. That's what's incredible to me. Last year, even strength, even more so involved and in, in higher a goal count than in years past where it was predominantly the power play. I think Baxter makes a great point, though, and that is that office goal where he's in the, the circle – that and shot he's scoring on the power play. Yeah. That will never go away. Mm-hmm. I mean, never. He, he keep him on a roster that. just for that. He could Because you get 30 a year for that. 20 goals without playing a single minute even strength for you. If you were, honestly, <laughs> a year if you wanted him to. 
Uh, if he scores 50 this year, he'll be seventh on the all-time list. And I think the thing you have to take into account with is him, era. It is not only era, where it's harder to score goals now. This is more impressive than anything Gretzky ever did. But not only that, at some point you just decide, I'm going to do it. You know, I want to do it. I will book. So whether that's here or whether that's somewhere else, at some point Ovechkin just decides, I can do this, or I'm going to hang around long enough to try. And either the Capitals give him another contract or, God forbid, he goes somewhere else and tries. But I think Backstrom's point is he's motivated, he wants to, and why not? A great conversation with him, and we thank the Capitals for setting that up. We will still be talking with Jacob Verona today. Not a bad trio, by the way. Oh, Tom no, Wilson, TJ Oshie, and Nick Backstrom so far on Grant and Danny from the MedStar Iceplex here in Arlington.